And right. that's what he said. So. Oh, oh. So. I didn't have that in my notes. Do you have that in your notes, Kev? I can't find my notes. Scott. Mike's got I, notes. Chris, you have I notes. I, I don't know where my notes are, so I don't know what I'm I had to take scrupious, scrupious. Copious, copious. copious. But I, I took copious notes, but I lost But it's them. copious? It's copious. I don't Kevin. know. We, I, I've looked high and low, cannot find them. So I don't know what I'm going to do. It, suggestions? Have you checked like in your basement? I, ch I checked the basement. It was the first place I checked. Yeah, my Ford Challenger, my big pickup truck. I checked. Yeah, I looked. I looked in the bed, which I use for hauling nothing at all, but nothing, nothing. No. Wait a minute, no. Kevin. Yeah. Your bed? Did you check under your bed? Oh, I keep a box under my bed. Look, oh, you know what? Hold on. There, Hold on. there they are. Down <laughs> my notes. <laughs> Crisis averted. It's a, <laughs> you get a beautiful uh, 1920 1080 uh, footage of you all looking uh, glorious uh, and some some nice a uh, nice bell glissando and then yeah. I come out in a picture you clearly ripped from my Facebook page from <laughs> uh, I totally <laughs> did I, I, you were in Disney I believe I don't even know but it looks terrible and I get it right but uh, here we are <laughs> here we are we're back with Remark uh, I am your host Kristen Finger and I am your host, Kevin Reagan. And with us is our other host, Mike Gregoric. Hey, we suckered him into it. Oh, <laughs> we'll get if you watched now. us do uh, our remark of the Disney Plus series, Loki, you will recognize Mike. If you haven't watched that and you've watched a whole bunch of our remark Hallmark stuff from Christmas and Valentine's Day and whenever else we've done it, you won't recognize Mike, but Mike is awesome, so. Thanks for being here, Mike. Thanks for being here, Mike. Well, Kevin, more, tell yeah. me what we watched. I was going to say, more importantly, Mike, oh. thanks for watching Roadhouse Romance, <laughs> part of Hallmark's Harvest series, in which we saw Callie return home to find her hometown has changed. Her first love has a new girl, and her family's BBQ restaurant has hit hard times. <laughs> has it, though? Anyway, Has it though? Like it's, yeah. it wasn't that hard of times. He but Aunt know numerous that. times was like, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Everything's good. Everything's good. She clashes with a marooned big shot director who might hold the key to saving her family's what a maroon. restaurants. <laughs> yeah, he is maroon. Kevin, that's, uh, that's our movie. That's our movie. And the reason, listen, folks, we don't we don't often watch all of them. But what we, what we do watch is all of Tyler Hines films. So Tyler Hines plays the role of Luke, the marooned director <laughs> uh, in tow with his best friend and agent, Dan. Oh, and yeah. I, like I, you know what? Can we get a spinoff of just Dan and Luke on the road in that car that he wanted to take a road trip with so oh, yeah. badly? I'd watch that. I would totally watch that. My Dan favorite, was my favorite character was Dan. I just want to throw yeah. that out now. We can get to characters later, but Dan was deserves a spinoff. Yeah. Well, so often characters, the Dan character is supposed to be unlikable. That's typically how they do it. But they obviously, whoever was writing was like, I like this character. I'm going to write him likable. The actor's likable. He's actually from uh, Love, Laugh, Hanukkah. Love, Lights and Hanukkah from last year. Yeah. And Supernatural. He's also been and Supernatural. Oh. I was going to say that. Yeah. Oh, same brain, Mike. Sorry. He's been in like a bunch of different episodes, which my favorite role that he played was the depressed teddy bear that 
during the wish episode so you never saw him you just heard him be a depressed giant teddy bear (laughs) yeah he was great he every time they went to him and you knew that he was going to get with callie's aunt like that was so obvious from the beginning because callie's aunt was not attached no ring and it was like (laughs) dan's gonna move in on that is that what happens in your head if you see no ring? Yeah. Oh, no in ring. a Hallmark movie? Yeah. Yeah, because you know they're going to have a ring on that by yeah. Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, <laughs> oh boy. Now, when I sat down to watch this, I am always very open-minded because I love a simple plot and I love just sort of, all right, I know that these two are going to meet yeah, but they yeah. already, and what was interesting about this one was assumably both were attached at the start of the movie. And then I I will be honest, folks, I think it took a little too long for Luke to detach from Jillian. That's it my sense. The, it was in the last seven minutes of the movie. Yeah. I also don't think Jillian was that horrible. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I was expecting more of an evil, you know what I mean? Act, uh, yes. Not like soon to be X, like um bridezilla type character yeah. um that we were gonna hate and <laughs> when she came to town i was like oh she seems fine oh. <laughs> she seems so mike, bad. mike can yeah. i tell you she that barbecue sauce <laughs> i i would doubt that chris or that mike watched this kristen and i watched a movie last christmas called good morning christmas, good morning, christmas. <laughs> and in that movie there was a character mark Blukas's uh fiance if i'm not mistaken definitely girlfriend mm-hmm. who was the exact same same type character played by the same actor it was the same actor listen oh kevin understands that this is my dream all right <laughs> i'll play the bitch if you want me to yeah, okay whatever. i'll play the nosy neighbor hallmark just hire me yeah. and then i will be the same person in every movie yeah. and you never have to give me a single note <laughs> you can email Kristen at what's our email address hallmark oh. nope remark the show at <laughs> gmail.com it would be weird if hallmark emailed us at hallmark it'll bounce right back <laughs> um but yeah i thought i think that's the nice thing about this movie is there was no villain and there yeah. typically is such a douche or such a like <laughs> uh not nice woman and i don't agree i don't agree with you at all there was a villain yeah. do you think joe was the villain no no oh. joe is terribly written joe yeah. was such a first of all callie i want to point this out really fast because like the only thing that callie wasn't i turned to julie my wife julie and i said is she gonna be a princess because she shows up she's a soldier she's a doctor she's a country singer and she's a restaurant owner and i was like you hit them all she, if she turned out to be a princess it would have been like the hallmark they like, did it they did it <laughs> That would have been bad. Uh, to show our fans watching um, uh, via video uh, on YouTube, uh, we are doing the effects live tonight. And I just added remark the show at gmail.com right underneath me. Oh my live. God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is great. This is why That's Mike's so here. <laughs> it's a little Mike off is, center, but we'll take it. <laughs> Mike is keeping my marriage intact so I don't edit these all year <laughs> long. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thanks, I'm your Dan. I'm your Dan, Kevin. You're Dan. Dan. Thank, Thank you. you, Dan. So, um, Kevin, who I do you think, think the villain is? You're going to be shocked. Grandpa is it the barbecue Tucker. sauce? <laughs> Grandpa Tucker. Oh. It is the dead spirit of Grandpa Tucker. First of all, the barbecue sauce that you speak of, Kristen, is a B subplot, at least, if not the A. <laughs> Are you looking for it? Are you looking no, my for cat just tried... <laughs> What a murderous rampage. Yeah, I don't blame. I don't blame your cat. Agent Coulson knows what's going on. <laughs> all right. So yeah. you all right. If you're saying that Grandpa Tucker is the villain because yeah. he was holding back Callie no. from the grave, is that what you're no, saying? No, no. no, he was a creeper who went through her love letters under her bed. <laughs> and and like that's creepy. No. Like, how is that? Yeah, that's creepy. No. Yes. Because I don't, I don't, I, I never have had a shoe box, but I do have like this box that a friend of mine made me. It's yeah. like a wood box. She painted it, glued my name on it. I had it, I've had it since like ninth grade. And what yeah. I do is I put like cards and things in there that like mean a lot to me. So like when I got into comedy sports, Jason Stockdale gave me a card saying, yeah, you did it. So like that, I feel like was that shoe box. I don't think it was just boyfriends. I think it was just like, her past. I I wish Jason's card to you said, you risked it and now you get the biscuit because (laughs) 
Holy crap. No, oh, let me write that down. I'm a director. <laughs> yeah, that's oh my God. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, that didn't that didn't check out because if he's the director, why is he writing lines? Or like, I don't know if maybe he was looking for inspirational things. So if he's like, all right, actors, actors, yeah. gather around. This scene takes a lot of risk and you need to risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> and they all go to cramp service. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, so the thing that's fun is always these mute, when we get to see these two assumably main characters meet, yeah. right? So these two got to meet because Callie is crying in her big old truck, oh, uh, yeah. so country, uh, yeah. about her boyfriend who didn't Dr. leave two years while she was uh, downrange. We can assume, I'm going to assume Afghanistan because uh, that's where the troops just and, came and home from and she just yeah. came home so thank yeah. goodness she was a lieutenant um, too so she put in the time yeah i mean that, that's why i think her deploy was so long yeah um because usually they're like eight months uh any so anywho she's crying in her truck and uh dan really wants that bbq because they're in tennessee and dan's like you only live once <laughs> yeah get that biscuit dan forcing uh luke luke doesn't care luke wants to just bull through get this car, which is an amazing car, this amazing Mustang that he bought for his girlfriend for her birthday. He wants to just get it to her, which I'm still confused if he was trying to get it to LA or Tennessee in Nashville because she was, Mike, yes. This was yes. also, I had some problems with the geography, but that's the yeah. least of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's they, talk they about a, that. They were hopping back and forth between L I was also confused if where they were and yeah. how quickly they were getting to LA. Yeah, but well, she, yeah, they were she, shooting on location, like you said. Yeah. Well, she talked about that. She said, come to Nashville, because they weren't in Nashville. They're in Tennessee. They were in Lockhart, Lockhart, Tennessee. And she said, come to Nashville because we're closing. Uh, not closing. It's not a play. We're um, wrapping. We're wrapping the film. And he's ultimately he does. This is jumping way ahead in the movie. However, he and Dan, during Harvest, so we have to say this is October, right? Mm -hmm. By the way, is Harvest like non-Christian, or I mean Christian Halloween? Is that basically what that is? The Harvest? No, it's like Wiccan. <laughs> so I don't think Hallmark, I don't think Hallmark understands what the Harvest is. Right, because it's not Halloween, but like the decorative, you know, fashion of everything that's going on. It's, woo, baby. But they, I'll look, they, while you keep talking, I'll look up the uh, the history of the Harvest. Of Harvest, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, 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 I imagine it's got to do with farming and that's when you're, you know, harvesting your crops, you know, that's the pumpkin. Oh, oh, I just apple. went right away like, like children sacrifices. Did we kill children? I was, I was sure. thinking the village as well, yeah, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but they're sitting by a pool. Luke and Dan are sitting by a pool. And if they're in Nashville, and I admit Nashville's a little bit, a little bit warmer, like- No, they were in LA. They were in LA at that point. Okay. There were palm trees. There were very fake palm trees oh, near them. That. Okay. Yeah. So they yeah. went back to LA for a scene. A scene. A <laughs> scene. Back. Let alone yeah. many scenes that would never <laughs> necessitate <laughs> an entire film. I hate to break it to you, but I think the whole thing was in Vancouver. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? Oh no. Wait. No. What the? Tell us. Tell us about this Vancouver you speak oh, of. What? It's a magical place where they make things look like. You mean the United States areas <laughs> for cheaper? Wait a minute. Prices. For cheaper. Mike. You mean to tell me that that gorgeous landscape scene where they were sitting on the bench together on the top of a mountain was not real? Oh, let me even, it not only was it not in Vancouver, but it was not there at all. It was on a green screen. Just no, like, no, 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 no. First of all, like that can't be true. Yeah, because when they were driving, it was the most realistic I've that, ever seen. That was real. That was real. <laughs> to tell you so when they when anywhere i got really excited when someone was going to drive somewhere because yeah. one of my favorite movies is north by northwest and that is my favorite part in that movie where he's like oh. driving drunk and it's the fake like you oh, know yeah. so i was like what are we i was happy i was pleased that that's what it was i don't I, need you, that's where you want to see like a grip walk into the frame and go and then leave and they leave it in the movie because again these movies are shot in like somewhere between five and ten days yeah. and you know that because the scene where as chris was saying you know callie's crying in the in, in, in her truck and Trip. she backs into or she backs out and luke nails her in the most vicious car accident that's ever been filmed yeah but not a dent anywhere also can we please credit 
oh my goodness, Tyler Hines for a delightful line read of yeah. flying, flying, what am I, a bird? Like any other person that was given that line Brilliant. could have trashed it. Yeah. But he handled it like a pro and it was hilarious. Where do you think Luke McFarlane would have fallen on that line, Kristen? Flying, flying, <laughs> what am I, a bird? <laughs> so Shakespearean. But as they're trying to get the car fixed, I mean, there was no damage to the car, but for some reason now the Mustang won't start. So they take it to the shop, and I believe Sully is his name, if I'm not mistaken. Sully is fixing the part. It's going to take some time to get it in. And by my math, I believe it took two weeks. Uh, that's yeah. significant. That is significant. So that's actually something that I did enjoy is the length of their relationship beginning to blossom. Yeah. I just watched one this afternoon where they fell in love in three days. And at the end of the movie, the prince proposed to this woman. And I was like, what just happened? <laughs> love. <laughs> love really happened. There was actually a strong five minutes. Uh, maybe that's giving being too generous. Uh, two minutes where I thought maybe they wouldn't get together. And that I would sort of too. be yeah. the less, like he would still break up with his person, but yeah. they realize like, Hey, we have, we lead different lives, but we like, we helped each other kind of break out of, our past yeah. funk and they wouldn't get together. But then I, I, I mean, this was also my first remark, uh, Hallmark movie. So <laughs> silly, <laughs> little silly did you movie. know silly there movie. would be one. Get yeah. Together, yeah. Yeah. When, when there's seven minutes left on the clock and you're like, how's this going to end? Um, there was the, I forget the name of the movie now, Chris, and maybe you can help me the Valentine's day movie that we did where they didn't get together in the time frame of the movie, if that makes sense. Ah. Do you remember, like, um, Yes, Tyler it was Hines, called, It Was Always You. It Was Always You, and Tyler Hines leaves, and, and, and she, I forget her name, but she travels. Erin. Erin travels, yeah, Kirk, 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 Krakow. I always say Krakow, but that's yeah. not how you pronounce it. And, and she comes back, and then they get together at mm -hmm. her sister or her brother's wedding, which was awesome and very satisfying, because it let her go off and do her thing. Mm -hmm. It was her ex-fiance's wedding, but thank you for not remembering the best Tyler Hines movie ever. <laughs> all right, what are you gonna, what are you gonna, first of all, if it doesn't have um, Leanne Rimes in it, it's not the best Tyler Hines movie ever. Man. This is where you I think know. you all did me wrong because I'm coming into my first uh, Hallmark movie with a very basic cast. Uh, I did not know that I was like, oh, who is this Ty Tyler Hines person? I looked up, he, uh, he's been in 20 Hallmark movies. Um, yeah. But uh, the 10th, runner up in season you're like uh two of I american idol uh <laughs> was not a leanne you know it was not the leanne rhymes I was no, looking for. no this was her actor, i think this but... was her first like movie yeah, yeah so and i will say she was so much she was i didn't she didn't bother me there no, are so many fine. other leading yeah, ladies agreed. that you're like oh, babe. <laughs> um particularly in mistletoe secret the other country singer that tyler was put with oh, what's her oh. name kevin belly pickler Woo! Oh, yeah. so american idol another american yeah, yeah. so yeah. uh and and kelly no Pick like yeah kelly pickler singer. doubles down on that accent it is something to it's see thick. Yeah. But at least in this, the truck. It's my truck. She was that just one, like really? not, she was a naive actor, not a bad actor. You know. Yes, yeah, yes, I, I, yes. I, 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 you I could tell she was green. You could yeah, tell she was yeah, she yeah. was green. Yeah. Um, there, uh, uh, the in that scene with the car and Sully, uh, there's a moment where Tyler Hines and the actor who plays Dan talk over each other, but not in a way that worked. And they left it in the movie, and I was like, "Wow!" And I even—they had no coverage when they shot this. It was a—it was a—it was a two shot, so it was the um. both of them in it, and that was it. And it was like, "Well, I don't think that they had any other option," and they just left it in. And it felt like that's the speed of how they film sometimes. Well, I have great news. Uh, oh, wow. I now pay for the Friendly app, and therefore I can actually record oh, Hallmark okay. movies and then watch them without commercial breaks. Oh. So that's a big step up for Kristen because last year I had Comcast um, and sponsor us and now I don't. So I didn't, I, I had to watch all the commercials but I did watch it live. So yeah. I, I watched it. With How are you going to know what new ornaments Balsam Hill has out? <clears throat> it's a tough life I live. <laughs> Google, Google that. <laughs> but so I did rewatch it this morning. So I've seen the movie twice now. Holy crap. <laughs> and, <laughs> I will watch it again. What? 
Wow, I can't wait. Lines. Yeah, I can't wait till we get to the part where we talk about did you like it or not. Um, yeah, so very quickly, that car part that it was basically it was the starter. They kept calling yeah. it something else, but it was the starter. And I just guessed um, uh, sixty nine. I don't know what year that Mustang was. I think sixty seven. It was sixty five. It on. was okay. Then maybe because I looked for a sixty nine and I found it like that. Like I'll I could double order. check. I'll double check Tyler Hines' Instagram. He had it on there. Okay. <laughs> Because it was, they kept saying, well, it's a classic car. It's hard to get these parts. And I found it on eBay immediately. And I was like, <laughs> is it though? Oh, Sully? Sully. You liar. Sully. <laughs> well, they were well, trying to don't keep call him there. it a toy. Yeah, they were trying to keep him there long enough for the harvest when they choose his name out of the hat and murder him in the town square. That was. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's yeah. the harvest. I think that's what was the continuation. You know what I mean? That would be isn't good. harvest something in Buffy? Isn't that is yeah. that why I'm thinking it's yeah, the harvest yeah. is like when the big bad comes. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's what I'm always expecting. Yeah, you can you always it's it's totally fine. Um, um so let's talk real fast about the barbecue sauce, because I think that's important. Um the barbecue you sauce. You mean you mean chocolate sauce? Yeah, that what was the hell? Definitely, definitely no, in... no, 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 no. Not not when they finally did it correctly. But when she was trying to get her barbecue sauce, because uh, 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 Grandpa Tucker, they had long lost his recipe, which he swore he would write down. And also there was this weird undercurrent of of Kaylee's dad. They never really, they never, do, do you remember this? Like something happened and they did not talk kindly of him and they never referred to him again. And I was like, what did her dad do? We didn't have a dead dad alert, but we did have a gra granddad dead. Yeah. Yeah, Ava's dad was dead, but yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so the barbecue sauce recipe is missing and this uh, restaurant had run out, Tucker's had run out of the barbecue sauce. So they were using just a store-bought sauce and it sucked and sales were down. Sales were down, yeah. morale was down. Also like, sorry, when you sell out a place for 300 people, I get it. When they were filming COVID times and they couldn't have 300 people on set or even 100 people on set, yeah. but it was the most unfilled concert at the end. Oh, yeah. But back yeah. to the sauce. Which, back to the, no, wait, the total that they ended up making on ticket sales was $13,500. It said it on the thing. And I was like, I mean, and that's, look, I don't have $13,500 to throw out right now. <laughs> but it was... Like that was the number that, and, and we have to replace our sound system. We've already heard music that I'm not a fan, but the music sounded fine. I could hear it. Yeah, I I don't know. <sighs> Back to the sauce. So uh, the interesting thing about this is that Kelly thought she had it by memory because mm -hmm. of making it so many times with her granddad, which is sweet. So she tried making it numerous times and kept having Huff Sully taste it or- And it did look like chocolate sauce. It did look like chocolate it sauce. Like okay. it, was, it was chocolate sauce. It didn't look it like was... chocolate sauce. It was, yeah. I, I don't know how they decided that was gonna be fine. <laughs> then I wondered when they, when she finally got it and they did like the cheers and each of them had a boneless wing. Yeah. Do we think they made them dunk boneless wing in chocolate sauce and then eat it? Yeah. Because usually Tyler shares that sort of information because when he did, it was always you. The oyster scene, they yeah. shared that it wasn't oysters, it was like something else. And so that way it wasn't as gross to have to keep eating. But like, I might, I was thinking about just getting some wings and dipping it in chocolate sauce today. I, I think that Tyler was doing a very clever sort of actory, like like yeah. not pantomime. No, he was doing like a not quite ah yeah. cut. <laughs> not quite, uh, um, I think yeah. that and sorry, what is uh, the the lead actor? Uh, who Lauren. Lauren. Lauren was. <laughs> I, tip for any one of you watching, if you want to go in and check out those freeze frames, um, when it's close up, she has a drumstick. When it's pulled back, she has a wing. So she yep. what? It. that was some continuity um, errors on. Uh, and I don't know why. I, I think I'm very specific about my wings, and so I immediately saw the, the yeah. change from drumstick. Yeah, to, uh, don't. It was it. funny, and he did what drives me crazy in a movie, where he goes, "Let me get another one," and he had not eaten anything yeah. off that wing. I was like. <laughs> wasteful yeah. so wasteful yeah, he, had a, he had a couple good like 
coffee cup not with anything in it moments as well always that's that's a hallmark staple mike that you'll learn that there is never (laughs) ever anything in anyone's coffee cup and you can tell who is a seasoned pro and who is not (laughs) but it's also the best when they're carrying a whole thing of four of them and they can just like gesticulate when they talk and they don't it's like Oh, that's hot. <laughs> it's amazing. They sh- I need them all to take my space work improv workshop just so they can carry a cup of coffee. That's a good trade-off. Hallmark, reach out to us. Kristen will provide this service. All you have to do is put her in the background of a movie. Mm-hmm. You can let George Jones, the dog, hump her leg. I don't know, something. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, um, yes, Michael, who is speaking? Whoever would like to. Go on. <laughs> I just I think we I had said, a Tyler that was a Tyler Hines Dan moment where we talked over each other. And all I said was uh George Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a dumb question because I don't like country at all. Yeah. Is George Jones a country singer? Yeah, you'd know him if you saw him. White hair, like he was just he was he was fine. Okay. He was fine. Yeah. So here's something <clears throat> Not to humble brag, but like Tyler Hines is a real big fan of mine. So um, he has, he, I live tweeted last night during the movie with him and all the other fans. Uh, he liked two of my tweets. Uh, Hallmark retweeted my one tweet. Nice. Oh, what was and it? Can you tell us what that tweet was? I can when we do Roadhouse versus Roadhouse, yeah. <laughs> uh, which is a segment coming up. But uh, what I will say is that I did tweet at him and I was a little, I really wanted this to be the one that he actually responded to was we okay. never got to see the full top 10 Luke sci-fi list. We I know. Got, like the first two maybe, but I want to know what either Luke's is or just Tyler's top 10. And yeah. I, I didn't get a response. So that's great. And we can talk a little bit about that just for anybody who is like, oh, I don't, there's George <laughs> Jones. For anybody who's like, I don't want to watch this, but, um, <laughs> You know, Luke is a TV director. Uh, a he looks like an old Jim Carrey. What? <laughs> <laughs> he is. That's a perfect description. That's, that's just really old Jim Carrey. Yeah. Liar, liar, country version. I did, Now I just want to look at him. That is disturbing. I don't want to look at him. It's freaking me out. It looks like Jim Carrey died and someone... <laughs> Why? He doesn't look dead. He just looks old. That's fine. I don't know if George Jones is still with us or not. Um, so <laughs> Tyler Hines' character, Luke, is a TV director. He's a big sci-fi fan. Um, we find this out when he buys a, a doll that's from, I believe, a movie that he had made. And um, Are we going to call he, that a doll? He bought his action figure. Action figure. So then he starts referencing the day the Earth stood still. And I consider myself, at the very least, a... Uh, uh, um, a geek, a fantasy geek, maybe not as deep sci-fi. I will say the day the earth stood still is boring as hell. Like you have to see it. It's a rite of passage. And then he mentions awesome movies like Dune and he mentions Alien and Terminator. And then ultimately even brings up Star Wars and they may the force be with you. Um, And then Callie is going to essentially compile a list of country songs for Luke to listen to. And Luke will compile a list of uh, sci-fi movies. His sci-fi movie list, I believe the first one on it was The Day the Earth Stood Still. Yeah. I think the second one was Dune, so they just took that from the script. The third one, if you read it, was Minority Report, which is Ooh. awesome that that was on there. That's it. You can't see any can't see else. the rest. I want to know the rest. Like, yeah. I want to know... Uh, yeah, I just want to know. Yeah. Um, I don't care about the country list. I don't... I never needed to know that, and we saw that whole thing. So... <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of Hank Williams on there. I think Waylon Jennings, who Luke mentions that he was a fan of. Um, so I will yeah. say, I I know who Hank Williams is. Yeah. Do you know why I know who Hank Williams is? Mm, I don't know. It's a it's another T H. Tom Hiddleston played Hank Williams oh, in like a biopic pic. Oh. So I saw that. Interesting. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Roadhouse Romance. <laughs> it was just, <laughs> just okay. okay. Uh, so, should we should we move into one of our segments? What do I, we I think? think should so. we do Roadhouse versus Roadhouse? Let's do it. Uh, it's time for Roadhouse versus Roadhouse Romance. <laughs> awesome. So a continuous bit that we would have is that would this film 
be anything like Roadhouse starring Patrick Swayze. Now, uh, I had hopes that it would, and I have compiled some photos that prove it basically was the same movie. movie. <laughs> so, Mike, just remind me which ones you're pulling up uh, so I know what I'm talking about. Yes, or of what course. Kevin... And uh, this is, of course, the, the hit uh, <laughs> cult uh, 1980s. Is that right? Uh, I think yeah. it's 85, yeah. 85. Right, uh, dead center 1980s. Patrick Swayze. And he's a truck driver, right, or something like that? Nope. He oh, is no. a, oh, oh, he is a bouncer, a, a bouncer oh. and his name is Dalton. And people uh, wide uh, throughout the world know that Dalton, if you, it's basically bar rescue. If you need someone. Like literal, it's the literal, <laughs> but he, res he physically rescues the bar Chuck Norris style. So. Yeah, Chuck Norris style. Yeah. Now, as you can see here, displayed in these beautiful photos, uh, the double deuce is the name of <laughs> the bar in Roadhouse. <laughs> And uh, I couldn't get the sign quite in the other shot, but it's Tucker's Roadhouse. And as you can see, the aesthetic, very similar. <laughs> but also you can see that they had music both playing there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's very, uh, Kevin, do you think it, this was very similar or am I way off? Very similar. I think also the rusty latch uh, mm. might have been a, a little bit of a roadhouse as well. Very rusty true. latch being from Roadhouse Romance. Uh, that is Jeff Healy, blind guitar player in Roadhouse. That was missing, in my opinion, in yes. Roadhouse Romance. I think it would have been an easy addition. Mm -hmm. um, the gentleman back there in the white hat could have just... Yeah, put him in a out. chair. You know, Jeff Healy always sat and played. It was awesome how he played. Yeah. But, yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Yep. Uh, excellent. So that is our first comparison showing that they were basically the same, the movie. same movie. Comparison number one. Same <laughs> Yeah. Let's see the second slide, please. Now, I believe this is comparing oh, yeah. both our lead males. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see, they stand very similarly. <laughs> yeah. They also lean against things and do things with their hands besides just leaving them down at their sides. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They also fill out their jeans uh, quite well. Hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Also, their hair is similar. I did at one point, because I rewatched Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze yesterday, and he's always got that quaff, but there's always that one, like, loose. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted that for Tyler. I wanted that just in a moment, but his hair, they do his hair so beautifully. It's perfect. Yeah. So this, again, proves same movie. <laughs> Round two, same movie. Next round, round three. Now, here we yep. have just the buddy situation in both Absolutely. films. Yeah, We've got uh, Dalton's age-old friend, Wade. The cooler. Who, the cooler, as The cooler, friend. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, Luke has Dan. The I mean, agent. Look at the <laughs> agent and the cooler. Cooler. So basically, again, enough bromance to go around Round and I would watch. Three. Sorry, <laughs> then it's equal. <laughs> <sighs> Explosions. I like it. Is this photo of them from like his Instagram? Yes. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Not a screenshot. Not no, a screenshot. it's from the Instagram. <laughs> it's from the guy that plays Dan's Instagram too. So it's sweet. Thank you. Uh, so this next year. Oh. Yes, the fighting. <laughs> the fighting that occurs. Yep. Uh, the, uh, of course, this classic scene from Roadhouse <laughs> is moments before Patrick Swayze's Dalton rips out the man with the hairy chest's throat. Yes. And again, in the one on the right, Roadhouse Romance, this is right before <laughs> Tyler Hines. Cowboy Cha-Cha. Kelly's throat. <laughs> yeah, this is the Cowboy Cha-Cha move, they call that. They didn't name it. They should have named it in Roadhouse. I'm going to go one better than that. We don't have a picture of this, but I feel that George Jones, the dog, oh. did symbolically rip out a throat by stealing the oven mitt and Ooh. running with it. <laughs> Same movie. Same movie. Same movie. This was an edition of Roadhouse versus Roadhouse Romance. They're yeah. the same. They oh, are. I can't believe I forgot to give you guys this one. Uh, this is what got the retweet for me. Go ahead. Uh, Go. This is yes. the, the famous, 
gray sweatpants from Roadhouse, <laughs> and they put Tyler Hines in a pair of gray sweatpants. Yeah. So I got this retweeted, and I said, "I see you, gray sweatpants. I see you." It's and a very Hallmark like specific. It. It's a very specific like title word. Like what other movies have? You know, there's a lot of movies that have like right. similar words. Like no other word movie has Roadhouse besides Roadhouse and Roadhouse. I Roadhouse. feel like I didn't look into who wrote it. I didn't look into you know maybe they're a huge Roadhouse fan. Yeah. I don't know. They love the well, peace wave. Yeah, Road Warrior and House Party Three, also the same movie as Roadhouse Romance. Yeah, true story. True story. Thank but, you for joining us for that segment. We already did the it's ending over. bumper, Chris. So what do you? It's want over now. Oh, oh, oh we're doing. Uh, hold on. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, 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 that was uh, as a reminder. Roadhouse versus Roadhouse Romance. Back to you. Uh, three three chords and the truth. Oh. Every, every country mm. song. Mm. Every country song. <laughs> Risky so, biscuit. I, I have a question uh, for Kristen. Uh, are you a country music fan? No. Okay. Uh, I have a question for Mike. Oh. Mike, are you a country music fan? I would not consider myself a country music fan, no. Oof. This is going to be interesting. Is this why? What's up? I created a slight little game show for you guys. Ooh. In which I'm going to ask you this question. I'm going to give you words. You're going to tell me if they are titles of country songs <laughs> or lines of dialogue from No Country for Old Men. Mike, play that. Uh, play that. That was the first time uh, we've seen that. Uh, we were told not to look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, this, I still haven't seen it. I'll, I'll watch it. You'll have to watch. Yeah, Chris, watch the replay, and then we get at least one view. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'll, this. I'll, I'll like it. I'll, I'll like the video, too. And then, oh, good. And good, subscribe, good, good. so we'll be safe. Good, 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 good. Wait, you, you weren't subscribed to Remark yet, Mike? Jeez. <laughs> I think only my I friend know. Sarah Blask is. I think, thank you, Sarah. <laughs> no, we have a good amount of subscribers. All right, so I am going to, we'll go uh, back and forth. The first one okay. with three right, unless this goes on, and then we'll just end it. Okay. But the first one with three right wins. I'm going to give you a line. You're going to tell me, is it a country song or no country? Okay. For old men. All right, here we go. Uh, let's start with our, our fine guest who's producing this whole thing for us. How grateful we are, Mike Gregoric. Mike, this is either a title or a line. Or, it is. Or, wait, wait, wait. Or, oh, wait, or it's a line from No Country for Old Men? Correct. Oh, my gosh. This is yeah. great. Okay. Yes. <laughs> As my daughter leaves, she's like, I don't need to hear this. Uh, <laughs> see ya. All right. I'm unsubscribe. <laughs> That's what she's it. doing. Lost she's on YouTube right now, and she's like, no, I don't subscribe right, to this. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. No joke, she made me delete it out of her queue. She's like, why is Remark showing up? To I was like, you are terrible. Uh, Mike, if I had shot you when I first wanted to, I'd be out of prison by now. If I shot you when I first wanted to, I'd, I, that is no country for old men. Incorrect. That is a song by Waylon Jennings. What? True story. True story. Kristen. Yes. I wouldn't take her to a dog fight. Because I'm afraid she'd win. Oh, I think that's a country song. That is a country song. Oh. A Charlie Walker. Oh. Ding, ding. Chris What's is ahead. Prize? What's Chris our prize? Is oh! Sorry, I had this the whole time, but I didn't want to yeah. do it for me. Okay, okay. I love it. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Just off screen. Mike. <laughs> yep. Mike, here we go. Yes. Don't put it in your pocket. It's your lucky quarter. That, that, mm, uh, mm -hmm. I feel like there's some tricks in here. I'm gonna stick with my my gut. Uh, no country for old men line. That's correct. Yay! Hey! <laughs> Kristen, yes. I was sheriff of this county when I was 25 years old. I was, I was sheriff of this county when I was 25 years old. Yeah, I don't think it fits well in a phrase for a song, so I'm gonna say no country for old men. Ooh, that's correct. Hey! <laughs> All right, Mike, this is great. This worked out perfect. Mike, get your biscuits in the oven and your buns in the bed. Get your biscuits. Get that. Get your biscuits. No, no, that's not part of the game, Mike. I'm telling you. Get your biscuits. Yeah. Get Don't your biscuits in the oven and your buns in the bed. Hold on. Let me just hang up flyers in the background while I think about this one. Um, <laughs> um, I think that that has to be 
a country song. A, a country song. It is a country song <laughs> by Dickie Friedman. All right, Kristen. Yes. If you get this right, you it's win. It's all the biscuits. This is and for biscuits and a pickup <laughs> truck. You put us out of our misery. How about this one? The bridge washed out and I can't swim and my baby's on the other side. The bridge washed out and my baby's on the other side. <laughs> is this a country song or no, no country for old men line? I think it's a no country for old men. No, it is a country <laughs> song by Warner Mac. I tried to play the probability. I see what you did there. Yeah. Said... <laughs> so we are tied once again. We're going to go to sudden death. First right. one to get one right wins. Mike. Yes. I gave her a ring and she gave me the finger. Uh, that has to be both. Both. That is both no country for <laughs> old men and a country song. I can't answer definitively, so I'm going to say correct because it is a country <laughs> song. Okay, okay, I cheated there a little bit. Yeah. Kristen, if, <laughs> I don't, if I don't come back... Tell mother I love her. I don't come back. Tell mother I love her. It's a country song. It is not. It's a life of all men. Mike is our winner. Hooray. That means I don't have to come back and do this again next week, right? Is that the pro no. Wait, what? <laughs> no, but can you do it like 25 times during Christmas? We'll talk. <laughs> I do want to mention, I found it hilarious that Callie brings up Christmas. Like, they will, Hallmark knows where its bread is buttered. Yeah. Uh, they will risk it for the biscuit and butter it. And she did say, <laughs> Harvest is my favorite time of year, except for maybe Christmas. Oh, it's a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, thank you for hanging. Congratulations, first of all. Thank Excellent you. victory. Thank you. Um, but I do want to speak to your poster hanging because she did them so crazily. Crazily, <laughs> yeah. but at least they were straight until the last I know. one. I yeah. know. So, so annoying. So annoying. That is a tweet that I tweeted. I said, yeah. my OCD needs to know if someone fixed that last poster. And Tyler Hines liked my tweet. Yeah. So listen. I thought it was awesome because she's walking the dog while she's hanging the posters. Multitask, it's hard to do. I, I like the realism. I, if Hallmark does nothing else, they create real situations every I single think, time. Like, Mike yeah. is just hanging up his junk mail yeah. behind <laughs> him. It's hate mail, it's hate mail he's getting. things that are on my desk. She also did a weird, I, although I like it, I'm gonna tape everything up like this. She had like a, like it was like a perpendicular piece here, perpendicular piece here, like a four yeah. way. It was crazy, but uh, whatever. Because normally I do long ways, long oh, ways. Everyone <gasps> does it that way. That's the same, same this, people do it long ways. This is what happens if you walk a dog and you hang up posters, they're crooked. Yeah. That's, dogs are yeah. But that or was when he was them. helping her anyway. That's true. <laughs> my goodness. Um, we have our, oh my goodness. It's, I would say our famous segment uh, that's coming up next. Uh, I think it's famous because we're famous um and uh, because we do it in every episode because we need you to like it please like us uh please cue for the hallmark holiday hallmark pumpkin butt <laughs> it's time once again hallmark halloween hearts objectification pumpkin butt h3 uh. That was also awesome. why we have Mike on. It's uh -huh. I <laughs> can't handle it. Um, so this is the portion of our program in which we objectify the male lead of the film because um, women have had it long enough. And yeah. now we're going to objectify. Uh, so that is Luke um, played by Tyler Hines. And I'm sorry, did you just look at your notes to see who played Luke? I love, I saw your eyes drop down. Weird. My eyes dropped down to see if I had Luke's last name written. Ellis. It's Luke Ellis. Yeah. So uh, we will be basing this since it's the fall harvest where we murder people. Uh, we, no, I'm just kidding. I want this to be able to, I haven't been as sassy as I normally am because no. I don't want this to be too spicy. You made it a little sassy. Did yeah. I? Okay. Yeah, you said you'd be the bitch neighbor. Yeah. Oh, no. You we're went going to make it on the Hallmark. Yeah. No, Lifetime, we're coming your way. We're going. 
But so we're going to objectify Tyler Hines, uh, yeah. the way he looks, the way he walked, the way he leaned against cars, the <laughs> way he ate chicken wings. Uh, so we are basing this one out of 10 uh, butt pumpkins. And um, as always, I start with the lovely Kevin Reagan, one out of 10 butt pumpkins. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> that's, that's your old move, Chris. Uh, so listen, uh, Obviously a flawed character. We know he's flawed because he's got bad posture. He uh, needs a, a mouth guard at night because he grinds his teeth when he sleeps. Um, he wakes up in the middle of the night and smells smoke. It's possible he's having a stroke. I don't know. I, maybe that's the burning of the witches part of Harvest. Uh, or it's the making of the chocolate sauce barbecue sauce at the yeah. 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, listen, Tyler Hines will always get 10 for me as far as his butt pumpkins and what have you. I am a Heine fan. However, so however, I just, that? you know, I'd like to set a meet. Like, I just, I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. I, it's, it's coming down, down man. Okay, it's okay, coming okay, down okay, because okay. here's why this character and Mike pointed out in the beginning, uh, Jillian, his girlfriend there, she wasn't like, there was nothing about her that was evil. She was, ve she was into her career. She was mm -hmm. into his career you know, to try and advance him to. She wanted to do a movie as is called The Island Girl. It was a bad script, but she also was using that to kind of get a vacation in Hawaii. Uh, there, That's not an evil thing. It's not something like, oh, this woman, she's terrible. He should, you know, kill her during harvest. I, I don't know. <laughs> Will you just get <laughs> like, to your pumpkin score? Yeah. But no, I, you know I always have to give like huge preambles and then just go, seven, no. <laughs> Uh, my my thing is the the fact that uh, he broke up with her so late and he denied he set a deal in motion with her. She tweeted out to basically sell all these tickets for their harvest event, and then he went back on his end of the deal. And I felt like that was kind of a crappy thing to do. I'm going to give the character of Luke Ellis a seven. Ooh, a classic seven. Uh, Mike, I will let you know, because once I give my score, you're going to be like, that's all that Kristen gives. Because when we did, when we worked together on the Loki series, I can't not give Tom Hiddleston yeah. a 10. But so understand there is, there's, I've given twos. So please understand that. So please. Mike, Luke McFarlane will inevitably do a movie. We're going to try and get you to come back and do all of them. Don't worry. Uh, you'll see a two. <laughs> I'm trying to He's do not that. my least. Is he my least? Is he the one oh, from Rome? Mike is doing a great job. With the, I know. No, I'm taking. I took a. He was the yeah, violin, <laughs> cello. My best. One. My best um, Tyler. Okay, so I'm coming in completely um, blind here because, or, or unknowing, if you will, because uh, I've never. I don't know Tyler Hines from anything except the movie that I saw last night. Um, mm -hmm. And so I'm coming in regular, relatively unbiased. Um, like I thought he was Irish, uh, like an Irish actor trying to cover up an accent for a while because he kept on talking like this a little bit. He has a little bit of a lilt, and he's like, Callie, I, uh, I'm a I like it. Hollywood director. This is my Tyler Hines impression. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> But I, but I thought he showed up like he was there to act. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I could tell he like wasn't just coming out of nowhere. Um, he's a, a fine. He's a fine looking gentleman. Um, I, I think I have to score higher than Kevin just because I'm not, I can't compare him to former mm. roles. He came in. He acted. He was a good male lead. And I, I picture him doing other things. <laughs> and so I'm going to give uh, Tyler. Uh, I want to leave but I got to leave some room. So I'm going to give him an 8.5. Hey. Wow, yeah, that's pretty that. good yeah, yeah. i like that i like you coming in out of nowhere actually because kevin knows how much of a <laughs> uh hashtag heinies fan i am and kevin this fits with our upside down hearts during the holidays these look like butts and it's hashtag heinies is his yep. uh fan term yeah like, we're heinies yeah pumpkin, uh, pumpkin heinie is what we should have said you're right i'm sorry not pumpkin. so here's something interesting i Obviously, we'll give him a high score. Um, the one thing that I may uh, not give a complete 10 on Ooh. is because in uh, in the beginning, he was like a little sassy, yeah. but like, I'm actually okay with his, because then he apologized for it. So I might be going off, might be going back on myself. Anyway, <laughs> I'd like to thank Wardrobe for putting him in glasses. I'd like to thank Wardrobe for putting him in uh, button-down shirts with yeah. a cardigan-esque thing on top. Something was missing, Chris. 
but we didn't get a crisp white dress shirt. No, we did not. And that is disappointing. What we did get is like a crisp casual yeah. shirt. With the, the line, there were thin lines in it. It was nice. Thin line. It was very nice. Oh my goodness. And you know what else we did get? We got him in gray sweat. We saw him in his jammies. Yeah. yeah. We got to see him in his jammies. So Tyler Hines is getting a nine. Point nine 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 ten. <laughs> yeah, it was a ten. It was it's a, a ten. ten. I'm sorry. I love him so much. I think he's wonderful. I, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. I caught, I caught you up because you were saying how amazing. No, I'm just gonna like he honestly like uh, I've watched a few other things that he has done as well, and I don't know if you watch Letter Kenny, Mike, but he oh, is in Letter Kenny and is hilarious as the character Dirk. He doesn't so, jump to like season ten or eleven. Yeah, I agree um, that him and Dan were the best scenes, and like yeah, I oh yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. What do you got in there, buddy? I have the barbecue recipe. It was, in, <laughs> it was in with all my private letters. Pop Pop Tucker is a perv, and he was going through my stuff. And uh, speaking yeah. of Pop Pop Tucker, yep. Tucker, 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 yeah. Grandpa Tucker, I'd like us all impromptu to deliver some advice. We think that Grandpa <laughs> that they Tucker, cut from the movie. Yeah, so that they cut. Yeah. It was cut. It was in, and there were like too many. There's three too many. Let's take those three out. And these will be what Grandpa Tucker's advice was. Got it. Um, uh, I could start if you want. Yeah. So um, I think Grandpa Tucker, uh, speaking about like the sound system that wasn't starting to work anymore, yeah. will be like, well, if the sound ain't coming out the speakers, the speakers aren't doing the listening. Oh, yeah, Grandpa Tucker. I like that. How about this one? <clears throat> if you hold a door open for someone, you ain't never alone. <gasps> Grandpa Tucker. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is uh, in reference to his song, the, fa the famous song yep. that he sings to his love of his life. I don't know if you remember the lyrics, but they went something like, if you talk too much. You probably should shut your mouth and stop talking. And that, was, <laughs> that was the romantic song yeah. that he sang to his wife. I was like, wait, wait, I, I, I was, oh, this sounds wait, beautiful. What? And then, yeah, so that is the grandpa. Those Tucker. are good. Those are fantastic. <laughs> so here's the question, especially for Mike, because this is the first time he's done one of these with us. Uh, I, I've never done a, hall, a harvest one, to my knowledge. I know, Chris, you did one last year, full uh, shirt, shirtless, if I'm not mistaken, last year. <laughs> I was shirtless. <laughs> oh, I don't know how you watch your shows. No, you told me the guy was shirtless in it, and you're like, it was. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> I, I guess you know. I I imagine you had a snuggie on, uh, but we didn't start doing these until Christmas. <laughs> no, no, we didn't film this. Uh, this film, ballast or baggage? Ballot. What is ballast? You did. You told me you watched this movie twice. They refer to ballast or baggage. That's what Callie refers to her relationship with Dr. Joe. Is it ballast or baggage? She decides baggage. She... Oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? In the box? <laughs> oh, you think Grandpa Joe? Uh, Grandpa Joe? Grandpa Tucker was a kid. He was. He was seven. Like he was seven. Yeah. What's in the box? Oh, it's yeah. going to head. Spoiler. Oh. Spoiler, by the way. Okay, so you're asking Mike if he liked it or garbaged it. Yeah. Yeah, ba ballast is like, they put that like the ships to like make them steady, right? Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah. It, and then, did it stay afloot or sink? Is right, it good and bad? It's just like too much, too much yeah. stuff. Too much yeah. stuff. Uh, I would not, I, again, this is my very first mm. Hallmark movie. Yeah. And not, I've never seen a Christmas one. I've never seen a Harvest one. I've never seen uh Anyway, um, and so this was like, um, uh, <laughs> um, this was like extra bags. <laughs> there was some extra baggage that I think they had to throw over uh, to 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 steady the ship. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of a little bit of baggage. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's fair. More just, a couple, just a couple bags, yeah, just a couple. Yeah, like a couple people. Couple on the bag. ship. <laughs> a couple, couple extra bags on ship that they had to steady. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would say overall, I thought it was ballast. I thought it was uh, it was better than it wasn't for me. Um, I, you know, Chris, you, you've watched it twice, which 
that's that's about as much as a human being should ever see this one. Um, you say you're gonna watch it again. I just I, enjoy I, watching like, Tyler Hines. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's no, lovely. I, but yeah. so I didn't I didn't think this was not one of my like favorites because like there's other movies that like which is why I'm really really excited um that Paul Campbell is writing the holiday one that Tyler Hines will be in because yeah. Paul Campbell's last year that he wrote and was in Absolutely. with like a very good movie. Like, I really like it. So I'm very excited for that. So like, this wasn't my absolute favorite. I still love It Was Always You. I still love um, uh, Mistletoe Secret, even with Kelly Pickler. I just like that story. So the story in this one. Um, are you not going to mention It's Christmas Eve? Eve? I will. That one's so good. I will. Um, but yeah, like, I think, I think the thing that threw me a little bit was that I had to listen to country music a lot and that there were a lot of references to it. And that's just not my wheelhouse or my roadhouse. So I, I would give it like a, if we're given this one out of 10 butt pumpkins, I'd give it like an, I give it a 7.58. Yeah. Yeah. I'll watch it again though. I'll watch it whenever it's on. I'll watch it. All right. Fair enough. That's it. <laughs> We did it! <laughs> Mike, are you gonna keep watching these with us? They get better! Let's see, if I had to watch one more, I would say that I... Oh, it's, it's been a long, exhausting day Your That's troubles sad. just won't go away One thing that gets you through my pixelated face there it is wave goodbye everybody i might be back next week or not <laughs> i will i will <laughs> we're not doing one next week so oh. no, 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 no. we only pick now kevin and i've only decided we did this because it was a tyler hines and that's the last two we've done is just because tyler hines did them so 